I was actually in the back of one of the trucks the entire time we were shooting. I wasn't there <laughs> oh. with you. Um, is there anything that you want to talk about that was like left on like under the hood, if I may? Well, one of the Man. grossest things that I, that, that I learned on the last day of filming is that uh, at one point, uh, Cody went into one of the trucks at night because he had forgotten something in there. And when he turned on his flashlight, there were cockroaches <laughs> everywhere in oh the truck. Oh my God. <laughs> and then when he came back in the morning, he looked for them and they were somehow gone. Because but they had no. been they there. Probably just came by. Oh, yeah. oh stop no, by. they fucking did. Probably just stop Open by. Well, you were, you were asking about Georgia, right? Yeah. Georgia. And I just think peaches. Uh -huh. But you were talking about something else. What, well, yeah. The country, Michael. The country. Yeah, you keep saying it. When? Where is that? American education. <sighs> well, not even. Let's let's not be vague. Sorry. It's, New it's, Jersey. Oh, okay. with a big hey, welcome to Off Topic, the show where we just might do anything. Like have Armando show up. Hey. Hi. Last second. And then ask every single person in the building if it's okay if he can be on. <laughs> well, well, I wasn't explicitly told that it was okay. Bliss came in with authority, and I'm here to believe whatever Bliss says. So I went, sure, sounds great. I don't know why you're listening um, to Bliss at all. Because like, uh, it's he has, Bliss. He has nothing to do with <laughs> this show. Uh, I'm, anyway, I'm hey, I'm your Bliss. host, Michael. Uh, <laughs> no longer sick, but still looking incredible. I We've got Lindsay, Hello. BK, yep. Chris Always from SDF. Yeah. And Armando, who once again just showed up. He's running a science experiment Yo, right that here. looks cool, and yeah. I bet it tastes bad. I, mean, I call this drink of the oil spill. Oh, <laughs> oh no. no. We need, anybody have any soap with a picture Is of a duck on it? Is it bad for this it? environment? Is yeah. it, we gotta start um, cleaning. I call it the BP special. Holy oh, shit. Oh my god. He turned the blue Gatorade green. green. <laughs> um, so Chris, right before we, we started, so we were just streaming, I was streaming with SDF, we did um, Mario Party. Myself, Chris, John, and Blizz. And then Armando called me. I went, are you here? And he went, no, I'm at home. And then started trying to oh, break into the room. <laughs> started trying to bust the door down. Like, uh, you the code go off, but it's yeah. wrong. <laughs> Uh, and then just kept asking if it, he could be on Off Topic, and I just kept saying yes. Yeah, I kept I kept pounding on the door, going, "Please, <laughs> please let me be on Off Topic, please." That has such dead energy, but I love that this is our house. But you flew from LA to do that. I'm like, I love that for you. you oh yeah, exactly yeah. But he's without here. the responsibility of kids or anything. Every week at Good. this point. Don't you? Yeah. Why don't you? Live here? You should. Yeah, I feel really. Like he does. It, no. It, if I should say, like, let me rephrase that. It feels like you're our fun uncle who comes over and we're like, oh dude, Mondo's yes. back. Yes. yes. Like, whoa. It's like, like when you're your yeah. you're like, what's going on here? Woo. Why are you always here? Well, I, uncle, I don't question it. So much as like cousin. That's what I mean. Yeah. Cousin. Yeah. like, <laughs> parents drop him off because like, <laughs> they don't want to deal with him. Absolutely. Well, I like the uncle comparison because it is, that is like the first couple times your uncle comes over, you're like, oh, it's so good to have him here. And then you're like, he needs to like get his shit together. <laughs> is Uncle only, Mondo okay? Uh, yeah. He's well, the, between jobs. The He's crazy between thing jobs. is I feel like you're flying under the radar. Like you are and you aren't. You, everybody knows it, but everybody's okay with it because you keep leaving. Yeah. You know, yeah. you haven't been here for two months. You feel like you have, yeah, but, but it's like, no, nah, right. he goes home. I'm You're checking, not I'm checking his yeah. tweets. He's not here. He keeps, every time he leaves, he goes home, he takes a picture of the newspaper <laughs> <laughs> in front of a landmark. And so like, it doesn't, you know, yeah. I guess he can keep coming back. And the hand is always different. <laughs> <laughs> He's 10 sometimes. Yeah, yeah. A little oh black. God. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's good to be back. We love having you, Uncle Mondo. It's, I, 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 I like Mondo. when Armando comes in, but it just makes me laugh every time it's like, oh man, it's nice to see you. I go, it's been three days. <laughs> I see you more than people <laughs> who live here. No, honestly, Chris, when was the last time I saw I you? Know, like, like, I know, really, like really, honestly. <laughs> Chris, Chris, has been, Chris and I have seen each other several times and talked about hanging out. <laughs> Like outside of work and have it. And yes. I've been hanging out with Armando twice in that span. In that span, yeah. Yeah. Didn't get that breakfast invite though. Okay, I knew yeah, it no, was gonna happen. No, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Can we hear about exclusive that brunch party, yeah. like go get an invite the, I, at all? I'm saying again, I, I just went, I happened to see his tweet and it was about like breakfast. And then it was like, oh whatever. He didn't say specifically where he was. And then someone replied. And then he's like, oh, yeah, come to Austin. I'm like, this motherfucker's in Austin again? <laughs> and then it was just a funny thread of everyone in Austin going, 
You didn't text me. You didn't text me. And yeah. then Chris, of all people, comes on and goes like, guess I was fourth backup. And everyone's like, bro, you were a backup, you piece of shit. We didn't get the call. The I, yeah. I, I, texted, I texted five people like, hey, do you want to go to brunch? No one responded. Mm. And then me being a fucking yeah. idiot, I was like, oh, I'm going to tweet about this. So relatable. Like no one. And then it just backfired as everyone realized <laughs> that I didn't text them. Yeah, as everyone attacked you. Yeah, it really fucked me <laughs> over. You had the best response, though, of, of <laughs> screenshotting our text messages, an empty thread, and going, oh, my bad, let me check my, oh. <laughs> Very and horrible. my favorite part about that is that you, uh, you deleted all of our text messages I to didn't. each other. I didn't. I have a technique that nobody does this. Oh, and it, you and scroll it, up. You scroll up, uh, yeah. but you yeah. have to like hold yeah. it and yeah. pinch and it, and, you, and you take the picture, and it's a way to just like remove the top without actually deleting it. So yeah, I screenshotted it where it's just me talking to avoid. And so not only did I tweet that, but Armando was like, you fucking coward, you deleted all the nice things you said about me. Yeah. It was like the last conversation we had. I went, that's not part of this. But but I like that, like, no, but it's not crop, you know, because you still see the top, you know what I mean? And that's my favorite part. I don't crop it. You can like put in it six times. You're like, fuck, you're about to take the picture and it jumps out of your hands and the image comes back. I do that all the time. He texted me something very nice and it was very sweet and it meant a lot uh, because I look up to him and so it, it, it felt really good. And then he he got rid of it. And my favorite part was I said, "You fucking coward! You wouldn't you deleted all the nice things you said." And he goes, "It didn't fit the narrative." That is exactly what I said. It just went. That's it just would it would have confused people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's some show I was watching. I cannot remember for the life of me now. But that was kind of the phrasing. It's like I respect this person and love them, but I'm not brave enough to say it. I'm like, that's Michael. He's not strong enough yet. He'll get there. He'll I mean, I literally know. told him. It's just not Even about me dragging premise. him online right uh -huh. now, okay? Yeah. They're mutually exclusive comments. I don't want to you know, muddy the, the water. water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I do want to muddy the water. <laughs> there you go. So he was like, this is not bad. And then you made a different face when you had it. But you had the blue and he had the red. Do you think that's the difference? I think that I poured better. significantly yeah, more. Yeah. Possible. Okay. Yeah, seeing as how this is a weird shade of brown green now, <laughs> I think I, I was a little heavy-handed with the rum. This also actually works out because um, besides Lindsay, oh, who That's really me. wormed their way in here, Hello. this is uh, <laughs> <I'll> squiggling. <in. laughs> Truck my way in, yeah. Truck right. up cast. Truck up oh. cast, which hey. is I think over. Yeah, but, I think yeah, it's yeah. finished. Yes, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. not gonna spoil it in case you haven't watched it yet, but it was a lot of fun. I like that people didn't get eliminated. Oh my yeah. god, that was yes. fun and uh, a little bit of a spoiler. But if you didn't watch episode one, my favorite thing was even when we were kind of coming up with what the show was. The first thing was it like it was like okay let's do teams and the first thing was what if we s switch the teams and it was like oh <laughs> at that point i was like we got a show <laughs> that was when you knew well because it was just like everyone's gonna have the nice dynamics but like when we swap it it's gonna be different but everyone's gonna be able to have some dynamic with everyone you know what i mean like no one no one just did nothing even i'd say the closest was john holland and trevor mm. because they're both the quietest and they were very focused yeah trevor the quietest well i mean oh well okay depending on you depending on the situation right right right, right, right. depending on the situation when the hyper focus well, okay. engages yeah trevor talks a lot but not doesn't say a lot there you go and, and well no chris sustenance. that's also something you do yeah no no i talk you I, talk a lot and I don't, don't say a lot, a lot. Make noise but then you say something oh. it's small and it's so much. <laughs> it's Chris, impactful. Chris like speaks in proverbs. Right. right. That he's trying to he figure speaks out. He's speaking high cute. And yeah. I love it. I love the translation. It's beautiful. <laughs> Uh, Trevor, am I wrong? It's not, it's kind of like because I feel like I'm very similar in a lot of ways. It's like it's a motor that just keeps running, and you're like, yes. "Where are you going, buddy?" I'm like, "I don't know. We'll, f we'll find that destination. We'll get there. It's okay." He's and that's a, sometimes comedy. He's a natural uh, content creator. Where like he <laughs> watching him in the edit, like he's explaining all of the stuff that he's doing, much to the chagrin of anyone that he's cooking with. <laughs> you beautiful. being the best of it. It's I beautiful. thought it was good, but I also yeah. didn't have to be in a truck with him. Right. I, I, I love mean, it. <laughs> one time, at one point on the show, you you're like, he's he's a, he's like a politician. He is. <laughs> I feel like he comes on Browning. It was he not? He's like, okay, we're in the kitchen right now. Because yes. She's starting over here on the song. He's I'm like the play kitchen. by play. Like yeah. I'm like, what are we watching NFL right now? <laughs> like, can you please <laughs> stop? Sounds like a kitchen disaster. <laughs> Whoa. He did this thing from the show. Why wow. did Eric's thing? So, watch. So. 
switching of the teams, that was something that you guys came up with on during filming? Oh, no, no, no. That was okay, like, that was before. no, no, no. Okay. That was just like, we're going to do some kind of thing and we're going to have food trucks uh -huh. and it's going to be team based. And right off the bat, it's like, do people get eliminated or not? You know, because it's says. Right. It's always like that's important, well, yeah. Well, like it's like what's the what's the stakes? Like even if it's not real stakes, there's sure. got to be stakes within the show, right? Because yeah. then who gives a shit? Well, we didn't cook stuff. And so right. it was like, no, you didn't, and I'm kind of glad because it would have been dog shit. Um, <clears throat> but that seemed like an interesting, like, oh, those are pretty cool stakes, and also people don't have to leave, right? Because it is fun. Like I'll be honest, beyond the audience. You know, we're we're doing the show a lot longer than you're gonna watch it. Mm -hmm. You know, it was still quick, but it was like one whole day of shooting promos and stuff, and then four like full shoot God. days. So it was five days, and we did the whole thing. Um, so there's a lot of sitting around doing nothing, mm -hmm. you know, while they're setting shit up, and that was fun as hell because everyone was here at the same time. You know, it was like a dozen people just hanging out and shooting the shit four days in a row. It felt so good to just be around everybody and just be like in high spirits. Yeah, for and finally most be of in it. Austin. And yeah, 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 yeah. Finally be here in Austin. <laughs> but it wasn't just like it was like you. No matter what, we do the episode, and it was just like you know you won, you lost, whatever. It was still just like okay, cool. I'm gonna go back to the other room now, though. It wasn't like okay, I'll see you in six hours. I'm right. not in now that I got eliminated. I'm not back for two days or yeah. whatever. It was like none of that. Was, everybody was hanging out the whole time. That's cool. That was awesome, just from like a personal enjoyment standpoint. Yeah. I really did. That that's you and well, you and I have no idea of what that feels like for like a last lap situation. Because you and I stay in it the whole time, you know, first and second funniest people mm -hmm. in the company, mm -hmm. according to last lap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but that sucked. Like having your friends leave, and then you're just like, okay, well. I guess there's just less of us, and we're angrier at each other. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks. We're bombing, and it's not like it's not like any of us pissed each other off. It was more just like you're stuck in a room together. You start to get on each other's nerves. Right. Yeah, well, you're just also, miserable. Last for lap, last laugh, okay, just, please. Oh, it's just no. it's just a miserable. It's just it, it hurts. No, it's, miserable. it's a miserable. Experience. I say it's it's literally sitting in a room where you're failing an improv skit over and over and over again because oh, yeah. no one's laughing. But Wait, <laughs> explain it to me. Explain it. To last me. Laugh? So last yeah. laugh is what happens when uh, a bunch of people that run Rooster Teeth mm -hmm. realize that. They want to punish the people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're describing so, it perfectly. Yeah. Okay. The show is they it's take the, 12 uh, people, they trap them in a room for six hours. Trap them. It's just right. It's, it, it, no, it's yeah. just like right Wait, here. Wait, you ba barricaded it's, the... It's a set. They're, they're, they're not allowed yeah. to leave yeah. except for potty breaks. Yeah. And that's the other thing is that like it's six hours showtime, but like because we're actually shooting it, it's more like nine to ten. I think we were there for like 11 hours total. So wild. Right. You're there in the yeah. morning for a few hours yeah. before it starts. It's mm -hmm. fucking miserable. Doing your intros and shit, walking in and all that crap. Oh my god. And I'm getting like flashbacks. You're looking around right. the room going, I'm in here for six fucking hours. I mean, whatever, unless you lose, but it's like... Yeah. There's a plant. Someone's gonna like shove that plant up their ass. They're gonna play with that plant. Somebody's gonna play with the fruit. I'm gonna yep. suck on the fruit. Like, That's valid. I did just a, start looking I'm around. I did an homage to you. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I did an homage. by I walked in mm -hmm. and the first thing I did was I bit the fruit mm -hmm. and uh, I, I bit the lemon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember that. But yeah, they, hell. Didn't we put the hot. lemon in the baby's head at one point? I still remember that. And I don't we're know. Holding dude. the baby's head on a stake, anyways. Was, I had a lot happening. of like pain in my pants. I think yeah. that was the first one. All that being said, I it think was we the should blue do. Paint. We yeah. should do a psychological evaluation I'm on good. that because like that could be. It's like water, water I'll, torture. I'll tell you, mm -hmm. right. yeah. the psychological evaluation is everyone walking out of that and Chris going, "That was fun." <laughs> <laughs> no, Wait, really? Yeah. I didn't know. No, no, but it would make sense. But I remember. I remember. <laughs> Whenever I was done with it, I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> it was it was a weird thing that, like, there's nothing to take with you. It's over, it's over. You know what I mean? Like, even even us, like, not, like, working on it. Like, I'm not working on the post or anything. It's it's done. We do show when it's over. But for some reason, I remember the first season, just being at home, taking showers, going... <sighs> Like, oh I had the god. same thought. I was, just, I was just standing there going, like, oh my god, like, oh, like, even though it was over, like, I just hadn't escaped it. Like, ah. Oh. That's, I had, the, I was so desensitized for the second season. I was just like, oh, Wait, let I didn't it, get let the it premise. roll over so, you. So the premise is you're not allowed to laugh. You're not allowed, allowed to laugh. smile. Okay, okay. It, Twelve of you, you can't smile. You can't smile. You can't Don't smile. put me in that. Nope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't put me in that. So it's everyone trying to make each other laugh, but everyone just deadpanning. That's not funny. 
Mm -hmm. You also can't smile. Right. Yeah. Like while you're doing bits. Which, so you laugh at yourself. I hate it. My default is to smile. So, which is most of the yes. of the marks. So you know, like you ever like tell a joke and no one laughs and it's, you're just like and each the and, then, and then you try and laugh it off because you're <laughs> but you can't do that. You can't do it. It's all just right. Telling, trying to tell yeah. jokes, and then and you can't run home and cry because you have to stay there. Exactly. So just, yeah. Right. What you also, what you also can't do is put on fucking earmuffs and <laughs> blinders <laughs> and sit there uh, like Chris. Yeah, you can't. Wait, that's what you did. You straight up, straight up, just going. You're literally cheating. You can't see or hear. And he always goes. Is this a lot? You didn't say. You like <laughs> sat in the corner of the room. <laughs> we all, we all had like a bag we were given. We were allowed to fill it. Before we came in With to bring things? in like props okay. or whatever, Chris brought in like a fucking <laughs> Santa sack because I kid you not, the guy must have like vacuum sealed that. He had like 400 things in this. Everyone brought was like, I have six props. I have two shirts. Chris was like, hang on, wait. Are you kidding? It, it was like, uh, it was like Carrot Top's chest. Did, yeah. It was like Carrot Top <laughs> prop comedy. Like, hang on, rubber chicken. I'll use that later. It was very similar to uh, Ryan Hanley in season two. When mm. two, I believe it was your spiritual success. Well, that was also fun seeing the people from season one coming back and being like, okay, I know the, I know the arena. Sing, things have changed, including having to interact with people more for that reason. Because we all kind of just went like this. Like right. A middle I mean, it was a learning curve. Point. But yeah, season two, yeah. they're a little bit more like, you can't just avoid people. Or yeah. we'll start just, you we're get like three strikes and you're out. Yeah. Oh. Because yeah. Then, then it just gets like people just not wanting to interact. Right. Because you don't want to laugh. The thing that made me the most upset about that show was the fact that I uh, I spent most of the, the storage space in my prop bag for one bit. And the bit was, did not make it into the show, by the way. No. So my bit was that I had a trench coat and uh, and I walked, I would, I walked out, I walked back in with the trench coat and I walked up to people and I went, hey, you want to buy a watch? And then I opened it, and instead of watches, it was a bunch of dildos. <laughs> yes. And then I went, wait, if those are there, and I opened it out, and hanging from my pants was a watch, and then I started screaming. <laughs> <laughs> and it was it was a bit that was just for me. It's very funny. It's very funny. funny. And it didn't it did not get a laugh. They did not put it in the show. That's and also, no one will send me. That's also it. the other thing what, what really sucked too is like specifically me and Armando being in it, is we really hadn't done anything together yeah. at okay. that point. It's like, here you go. Don't laugh at anything. <laughs> And so then, you know, being there for 12 hours and then afterwards going, oh, remember this thing you did at like seven minutes or maybe it was six hours. I don't yeah. remember. <laughs> that was really funny when no one laughed at it. But I remember thinking, that's funny. Oh, this is fuck. It? This oh, isn't the bit, but this oh, is what like. It's Kai. I had to walk away. And Fiona. Oh my god, we had the baby milk too, yeah. That was a whole thing. I can't <laughs> with this man. Fiona was chewing on Michael's nipples at some point. Oh, yeah. That happened. It was oh. Improper nursing. That, yeah, you know, it's also like a, it's judges? also a uh, well. They're just like watching to see if Big anyone brothery? smiles. Yes, okay. yeah. At least yeah. and Jeff were just um, kind of making sure we didn't laugh. <laughs> no. What Michael fucking on. sucks oh too is when it starts. There's so many fucking people yep. yeah. because the room is too small. I can't. There he is. That's, That's my nipple. That's that. your nipple. That's my. Yeah. Full, um, I can't not. It's just a lot going on. All real. Yeah. Oh my God, real. they're doing so much. What is happening? It's like art. It's expressive art. It's, it's yeah. very much. It, yeah. it comes this in waves. Improvisational. It, it really art. is. It, you, don't, you don't look it at it as like, oh, this is funny. It's not. You look at it as like, oh, watch them get fucking tortured. This is great. That is the. That is actually. I've said it like four times, and I'm sorry now. It's all hyperbole. That is the actual worst part of the show. Is the things that do finally break somebody. Like the way that I got Trevor to laugh was I took a picture of the Blue Man group and I walked up behind him, tapped him on the shoulder. He turned around and I go, Does this look right to you? That's it. <laughs> That's what got him to break. Well, yeah. The other thing, too, is you, you literally start you start to lose yeah. your goddamn mind. Yeah. Too. You you literally, you're just though. like, yeah. you hit a point, yes. too, where like you can just ignore everything, but then you're like 4 a.m. giggles. Like Fiona laughing it's at all your, your kickflip, right? It was like, it was way into season one and like Fiona made it very far, but no. it was like, you literally did a stupid little kickflip. No, that and Fiona was like, That's funny. That was James. No, it was James. You're right. James You're right. I was already out. See? I was what I knocked Fiona out was when she was wearing bunny ears in, se in season two, and I was wearing them at some point, and I was making like a do <laughs> this that. sound or something, yep. something, and I went, I'm Jake, or I'm Finn. <laughs> This is how I fucked the dog. And she <laughs> laughed at that, and that's, how, and that's what knocked her out. 
So shit like that. That's what I'm it's saying. Like, how many yeah. goals? Yeah. Yeah. It's because yeah. uh, it, 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 you part of you <laughs> the process. You put up walls, like, but you don't know where you you're gonna get want to exactly. penetrated. You, want you do to. the you do your top A game bits, and that gets nothing, and then you feel like shit, and then you do <laughs> yeah. something like this, and you get them to laugh, and you go like, fuck yeah. And then you realize what you just done, and then you hate yourself. It's yeah. the comedic version of all your stress piling up, and yes. then you drop your keys and just go. Ugh, I remember. Why? I remember <laughs> near the end when it was only a couple of us left. One of my, Armando's strikes was he. He started doing jump rope, and his mic pack fell out, and he laughed. Yeah. And then and you were like, God damn it! All <laughs> of just my, like smirked. All of my strikes against myself were me making myself. No. Laugh. Oh, I would hate myself. Well, mm -hmm. I want to know because and you, everyone did talk to Blaine. BK's got a really good <laughs> the like, winner of season poker one. face. You can. I feel like you're really good with poker facing, but you do laugh naturally. You're smiley. I'm it hurt. Face. Honestly, it. Hurts. I don't know. It's inhuman. I don't think I can. To do be it. like, don't laugh, don't yeah. react, right. don't smile. Well, it's inhuman. I cry. Yeah. There's Does even like me a nervous no. laughter. No. There's a no, you make, cry diffuse the, the situation. There's you yep. say something and it, and it doesn't play, so you kind of laugh it off. You can't do any right. of it. Right. I I did like a Jack Nicholson smirk, like hmm, and that was like mm, you smiled. I was like, yeah, Damn that it. was. Like, I think that was the one where if you if. <laughs> In that moment, they came in for you, and I think the whole room went, that's bullshit! Because yeah, it, it was like in character, and yeah. how about Elise also was like, how oh, about that counts? We did smile, like, fuck, I didn't think about that. At Shit. A, at a certain point, it did become us in the room versus them. It outside. did, it did. Oh, oh dude, <laughs> it, it, it's great, too, because <laughs> you you go in, BK, and you're trying to win, but then you hit, you hit camaraderie points, though, where you see someone smile, and you go, and, the, and, they, and they just go, Mm -hmm. well, because, no, it's, it's right. literally like if they don't see it, it doesn't count. And once you're already past it, it's just like it's free, missed it's it. It's like a ref. It's like the ref. It's like you missed it. Okay. I've saw so many people smile and laugh and just go. This, this it's is just fun. That, that's the only fun you can have. It's the only fun. I like, I saw you smile. I'm not gonna say nothing. Charlotte, Charlotte and I, uh, we we were fucking around with a, a walkie-talkie at one point and uh, threw it to me, I and remember. I like juggled it and like almost dropped it and then caught it, and then I went, ah, and then she looked at me and went, ah, and then we both realized we were smiling and just went, oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then just instinctively <laughs> was it? went through it of like, oh, you smile, it, oh, like I a, smile, like okay. Okay, listen. <laughs> who who laughed, was it you, was it the walkie-talkie, or I remember someone got this the megaphone to work, and it went, it <laughs> oh no! It's like you were trying to get it to work for like 10 minutes, like oh, batteries like, or whatever. Wait, really? 45 Fucking minutes. turns it on, and he's like, yeah, hey, I got it, <laughs> and like smile. Like, no. yeah. so it was the megaphone that I tried to get to work, and he's right. I took batteries from a different thing in the room, <laughs> like, I went through so much to get it to work, and when it finally did, it broke. Like, you watch, I, you would watch for that, right? If you're like an audience member, yeah. just to see that like emotional. Or, or Ryan in season two, he, someone got a strike, like someone laughed and got a strike, and he started celebrating, spinning, and then started <laughs> laughing. Yeah. And mid spin, yeah. you can see him go. No. And pull it back, and that was that was his last strike, and he got kicked yes, off. From no. That. And so it's like his exit is him going, ah, like spinning 360 <laughs> degrees. In the replay, he's doing. That's the funniest music. part of the show. And then the like second spin is him himself. going, oh, you see him go. Like it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite question. is when he tried to act surprised when they go, it was Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. He's like, well, oh, me? Off Topic is sponsored by BetterHelp. When you are at your best, you can do great things. You can be productive, creative, and have that pep in your step for the day ahead. But sometimes life gets you bogged down. You may feel overwhelmed, experience dread, or maybe you feel like you're not showing up the way that you want to. Working with a therapist can help you get closer to the best version of you because when you feel empowered, you're more prepared to take on whatever life throws at you. Listen, life can be tough, but that doesn't mean you have to face it and process it alone. That's why therapy may be the right thing for you. And if you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, flexible, affordable, and the best part is that it's entirely online, which means you can get your therapy in the comfort of your very own home. All you have to do is get started, is to uh, fill out a brief questionnaire, get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash off topic today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash off topic. 
This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Rocket Money. Say goodbye to last year's outdated, disorganized methods of managing your money and say hello to Rocket Money, the better way to hack your finances in 2023. Now, like, if your finances got hacked, that's bad. But if you're hacking your own, that's good, okay? That's like a life hack, good hack. Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill, is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Over 80% of people have subscriptions they forgot about, like that streaming service you bought to watch just one show on, or that free trial that you never even used. Guess what? The free trial ended, and then now you're getting charged for it. Rocket Money will quickly and easily identify your subscriptions for you so you can stop paying for the ones that you don't want. Rocket Money makes canceling subscriptions as easy as the click of a button. Simply find the subscription you don't want and press cancel, and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. No more long hold times of customer service or tedious emailing back and forth. Over 3 million people have used Rocket Money, saving the average person up to $720 a year. Listen, I know for sure I have a, a subscription that I don't know about. I have subscriptions that I do know about and I haven't gotten around to canceling. Okay, uh, you sign up for Paramount Plus to watch Halo and you go, wow, this is great. And then you go, well, I signed up for it, but maybe it's not so great because people I don't really like that show. I don't need Paramount Plus. Why have I been paying this? But with Rocket Money, it lays all your subscriptions out for you on one screen. And then all you have to do is hit cancel and then you're done. Easy. Stop throwing your money away. It's money. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash off topic. That's rocketmoney.com slash off topic. Rocketmoney.com slash off topic. <laughs> Blast off to savings. This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Shady Rays. Shady Rays never understood why sunglasses were so expensive, so they set out to change it. Shady Rays are premium polarized shades featuring world-class optical clarity, substantial durability, and styles catered to everyone and every lifestyle. The best part about Shady Rays, they have the most insane protection program in all of eyewear, lost and broken replacements. If you lose or break your shades on day one, they told us that they will send you a brand new pair, no questions asked. Dropped in the lake, off a cliff, maybe Chris just sat on them. They'll replace them. Okay, that makes sense because he was on the podcast this episode. That's That tracks. Even with that strong of a protection program, they'll still manage to make quality that I can tell you holding in my hand seems just as good as any expensive pair that I've ever worn. These do feel good. Uh, these feel so good. In fact, these are Nick's and I took them from him. Um, but look, he can maybe do the, I don't know how the lost and stolen thing works if I stole his I, look, he'll look into it, but it's not my problem. Shady Rays customers seem to agree with over 200,000 five-star reviews. Uh, ever since I got my eyes apt, I like to make sure they're protected. You know, that's my, I got LASIK. That's what I'm saying, okay? And this way, I can protect them from the harmful rays and look good thanks to Shady Rays. I don't want the sun rays. I do want the Shady Rays, okay? Shady Rays also provides 10 meals to fight hunger in America with every order placed and have donated over 20 million meals to date. They stand behind their product and us that if anyone has a problem, they throw profit out the window like a good business should and do what it takes to get it right. That means free returns and exchanges. You either love the shades or Shady Rays will pay to ship them back. That's it exclusively for our listeners. No one else. Shady Rays is running their deepest deal of the season. That's New Year season. Use code OFFTOPIC for 50% off two or more pairs at ShadyRays.com. Buy one, get one free. You can get two pairs for as low as $54. Redeem only at ShadyRays.com, where you can find all their newest and best shades. But you won't find Nick shades, because they're on my face. Go back to being in it, Mondo. Like, I like when you oh, see each other, you're like, oh, mm, and you mm -hmm. kind of point for a second, like internally. But I also like when there was a smile, and you did this to me a couple times, you would just like come over and loom over me. You're like, what was that? What was that? You just smile. I was like, no, no, no. Like, quiet. Yes. Yeah. And I was it, like, I'm so intimidated. The, piggyback, the, the show's more fun the further it gets away yeah. from having happened. Yeah, there's, there was... <laughs> it's fun in the past. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. It's fun absolutely. thinking about it. doing more every day that goes by. <laughs> if there's a... I mean, I've already ruined it. So, spoiler alert, if you haven't... <coughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but we've already ruined it. Was, it was a stream. But uh, <clears throat> you and I, 
mm -hmm. made it to the end mm -hmm. together, and I think you were in the same boat as me. I could not laugh if I wanted to. Oh, yeah. I was broken. Right. I was just completely broken, where I, nothing made me laugh. Nothing I was just you. completely drained. We all had to go out and, like, drink, and it wasn't, like, a fun, like, yeah, we did it. Yeah. It was like, <sighs> damn. Yeah, man, I'm tired. It was just like, we got to have one last interaction that's not this. Right. right. Before we, we all just leave, leave for the weekend. Right. I just got back from the laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my last laugh. laugh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Do you remember what he would call it? He would. Yeah. he would call it the last laugh. I just got back from the last laugh. You know, I'm, I'm here, and it's really just, I'm, I really love working with Achievement Hunter. Oh, yeah. Michael, like, like shit like that, that's funny. I wanted to laugh at that when, when Ryan's like, I'm trying to read! And he takes a book out that says ass eating for beginners. Ryan has, that's something you want to smile at. I feel bad. Ryan has I don't feel so bad many that. amazing Oh, I absolutely. Bits. See, that's, that's, that. that's me. I that's love you. That's it. That's absolutely crime. That's, that's targeted me. attack right oh, there. Oh, it's not a targeted attack. It's just I <laughs> feel the need. I would walk across the room and go, that's I like good. that. I like, I like that one. That. That. That's like a good that. one. That's real good. <laughs> that's that, yeah. Ryan had another book that was called like How to Hide a Boner for Dummies, yeah. and then he would keep it yep. right at his crotch level and just look around. <laughs> yeah, I think I was doing a voice for him at some point. I was going. I'm little Ryan down here getting excited. He's going, shut up, shut up, <laughs> shut up. Because what you fall into these bits where now it's like, okay, well, maybe if the two of us work we together, someone, someone else, else will yeah. laugh. And most of the time, it's just the rest of the room could not care less of what's good. They hate everyone in the room. God. I just want everyone around me to stop <laughs> breathing. Not die, yeah. but just hold your breath for a little bit. That was my favorite just part of sitting next to up. Ryan, is he was like the kid in the back of the classroom who snuck out the science, like all the chemicals from the chem lab. He was like, I found them. He gave me, <laughs> <laughs> he gave me something. He had like a thong with my face printed on it or something. Like he like what? had made, he had clothing made. Yeah. Well, like I, he printed my face on some sort of fabric. I did my tattoos God. on the first is one. That, is that the painting behind Ar Armando? Is it hanging from there? Is that the one? Oh, yeah, that's oh. it right there. Right there behind that's you. So no, 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 on, on the Achievement Hunter thing. The fong oh. dangling. That, yeah. That's from Ryan. He, br he brought that in his own bag right there, BK, in, in Last Lab. And then never, in, never used it. No. Like, never even did anything with it. He and showed then, me. And then I remember, I don't even think he gave it to me. He gave it to someone who went, Hey, Ryan Haley never used this for Last Lab, so you can have it. Would you like to take it home? And a bunch of pictures of me. It's not really a thong. I mean, like I a, feel like you'd want it's to take underwear. It. You don't want it's someone like else to have that. Yeah. yeah. Like, I need is. to have that. It's my it's, face. That's great. I don't know what I'm talking about. And Tyler goes, is it the thing right in front of you? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, now, God. after oh, hearing all that, are you ready for Last Last Season 3? Because they're going to ask you to well, join. Well, 4. They're going to make oh, you four. do oh, my God, no. We're four. talking about 4. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. Sorry. We talked about 4 on the stream. Oh, yeah. yes. We because right. you don't remember doing 3. No, so, yeah, I try to block right. it Right. Well, day. you don't have to try. It's the chemical. <laughs> it's the chemical, yeah. yeah. The he started talks. talking about Last Last Season 4, and John's like, I think I remember Season 3. And I said, no, no, your drugs haven't worn off. <laughs> oh. At Season 3, we all get chemically induced to blank our memory like okay. the Ben Affleck movie, yeah. Paycheck. Yes. And... Hmm. Uh, so then at the end of the Man in Black. No. It's a lot this of is <laughs> this is a little bit more complicated than that, Chris. Mm -hmm. Man in Black, you just forget. In Paycheck, you set up a period, so he does super top secret work, and then he forgets doesn't it remember once that. he gets paid. That it's like, here's your money. Don't you don't need to know it's top secret. But then of course, everything. Yeah. And then goes in wrong. the notebook, mm. she forgets, but they read the book and they remember the it. notebook. And, and what about yeah. that the Apple TV show where the off what Severance. Is it? Severance. Yeah. The Office. The Office uh, Two. The Office the Two. Office two. <laughs> Severance. Uh, that's just a show. That's, the Office Two. I this think, time it's perfect. I think that's a TV, that's a TV show. Office Space, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They just turn the movie into the show. I haven't watched that yet. It's really good. It's basically they trap all these coworkers together in a room, and they say, <laughs> "You can't smile or laugh. Oh, you piece of shit." Whoa. I feel like we'd be really good. I wish this. it was that animated. <laughs> BK, are you joining season four? I, I gotta know. I, big. We're five. No. I yeah, mean, five. maybe big. I say Tom. yes, and then in I'm in and out there really quickly. Yeah. That's for the best. Don't, I mean, don't worry. If you're not, if you're not a contestant, you will then be forced to come in and yeah. try to make people laugh. That's true. That's okay. How, if, it's, if, if another season or anything is filmed, don't worry. You can't escape. <laughs> you will One be way or in another. It. No, you it, you, you will be a town. part of it. This, leave town. This guy, you left like the country, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, I know. He literally, <laughs> I went to Puerto Rico. He was in. He's he like, sorry, in, I'm not available. <laughs> yeah, Chris, Chris. Quick, book the ticket now. Chris bought next day tickets to Puerto Rico <laughs> to not be in season two. And he didn't buy a returning flight. <laughs> Weird. I didn't know I don't how long the sheet was going to go. Yeah. Sorry. That's <laughs> the. That, my, that, God. That's how I met. 
everybody, like at Rooster Teeth. Because Last Laugh happened, I think, a month, maybe two months after I started. And so they didn't know that I was funny or good at anything. They were just like, yeah, we're going to put him in here because everyone else said no. <laughs> our, our, our and employees, people fled. Our employees are fleeing yes. the country. <laughs> I, think, I think even Ted Cruz left. We got to talk about talking about flying south to Cancun. Well, it was Chris's daughter who planned the trip. It was her idea. Yeah. <laughs> and they dragged me in. <laughs> and they said, you're doing this. So, but I didn't know a lot of, like, I knew everyone at Funhouse, obviously, because that's where I worked. Right. But I didn't know anybody else. And so. A lot of last laugh is me meeting people for the first time. <laughs> That's horrible. Yeah, even sometimes uh, for the first time ever. Like some people I had met only online, like Chris. Yeah. Uh, but like Jack at one point comes in dressed as a giant rat and is just like, what's up, everybody? And does like a bit with everyone. And then I walk up to him and he looks at me and he just goes, who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> and that, that was how I met Jack. That's awesome. <laughs> It's not like he's dressed like See, like, rat. again, like, Perfect. like, there's nuggets. Like, there's funny things in Last Laugh. But, like, it, it, it's kind of like making a blood diamond. You have to, like, squeeze. It's making, like, a, like a blood laugh. Go on. Where you just squeeze all of the blood and the, and the soul yeah. and emotions out of the humans. Like, making a philosopher's stone. Yeah. <laughs> and then you go, check out these three funny jokes, though. And you my go, those, God, are, my those God. are primo. And How many like, are you making? <laughs> <laughs> You're dead <laughs> like during the <laughs> zombie. It's like all the great jokes that were told in the trenches of World War I. Just, One. Yeah. I just right. think, I just think <laughs> you, you. If you go to the set, it says Kilroy was here. I think, oh. I think it's just a misclassification to say, like, <laughs> oh, it's a comedy improv show, because it is not, no. and it will fail to do that. I think you need to wrap your head around the social experiment you're watching. It is. That is funny when we just lose our fucking minds. Yes. It's incredibly unfunny the, as far as, again, what makes us laugh, but the, it's weird. The editing, the music, and the packaging all say, like, whimsical comedy show, but if you, like, switch yeah, it but out... it's hell. Yeah, if you it's switch hell. it out for the, music. like, the soundtrack... It's just one of those, like... It's just one of those, like... That's funny. One of those, like, uh, <laughs> like film, like, splice. It's like... Yeah. Where we're like in hell for a second, the entire room changes. It's basically like that. It's like um, hey. this is it. Oh, <laughs> this like is it. just an ad. Yeah, this is the trailer for the show too. Right? It's kind of like um, <laughs> come to your face. Like such you didn't a see me. Narc. You didn't see me. I swear. Beautiful. Well, Jeff and Elise's intro. Yeah, yeah. Um. What the hell was the? Uh, oh my god! I love our hairstyles. No different. That's. Oh yeah. yeah. What's well, the? Uh, what's so that much. first Disney Marvel show with with Vision? What was it? Wandavision. Wandavision. It's kind of like Wandavision, where it's like, wow, this is so nice, but really it's demented it's hell. and yeah. hell, and there's like sorcery going what's on. What's your friend? That's kind of what it having is. Having fun. Yeah. <laughs> you see how genuinely upset everyone is? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my goodness! I cannot! I cannot! So that oh. that like that shot of Blaine uh, the with the hot dogs, which was a great bit. That was, I think, within the first hour. So like, mm -hmm. it was fun. Everyone was having a good time. People were, they weren't laughing or smiling at it, but they were like. Uh, enjoying watching it happen, and then you see other clips of us where we're just like, "Fuck!" Yeah, <laughs> someone's just going ay, 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 like biting a butt of a doll or something. It's literally what it turns into. It just turns into effectively like quick cash grabs, but for laughs. It's like I don't need good laughs. I just need laughs now. I need the smallest goddamn laugh right now. I don't give a shit what I have to. I'm, just a chuckle. I'm, I'm just like a chuckle. I'm like Kevin McCarthy. Like just give me, just give me the vote. I just give me a laugh. I'll do whatever. You want? You're you can vote me out. Now. Four people, you can throw me out. I'll, <laughs> I'll suck you off. I'll do whatever you want. Just let me be the speaker. Yeah, you're begging. Please. You're begging for a laugh, like a man who knows he's about to be murdered. <laughs> Just curious. Just let me my kids, please. <laughs> um, did did your banana jokes make it in? By the way, sir, there was a certain banana joke in which Blaine yes and did pretty hard. Oh, when and I, I went <laughs> yes, hardcore, I and I went did. Blaine. Good on you, man. But I don't think we need to do that. <laughs> I remember. I remember that because there was some simulations going on, uh -huh. and I remember standing. I remember stand. I remember it. I remember it because this is the beauty of the show. This is like the only way I can tell a joke is I remember that, and then again, nothing happens. No breaks. Whatever. And then it just sort of ends. And I lean in the play and I go, nobody even laughed. <laughs> 
<laughs> no. Like, was it worth it? <laughs> like, <laughs> you just, you just gave everything. <laughs> <laughs> this is, like, it's, it's horrible. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, it's psychological like hell. <laughs> yep. I really, really, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy making things uncomfortable for people. Uh, and one of my favorite moments is right at the end when it was you, me, and Kai, and she was saying, <laughs> she's basically implying that you had to laugh for reparations. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know how much she implied it and didn't just and, say and it. She said it, she said it, <laughs> yeah. she full on said it. And my, my, I got to just, because I wasn't involved in that at all, I just got to be on the side and I think, I forget exactly what I said, but it was like, Oh man, Michael, the optics on this are so bad. <laughs> Dude, if you don't fucking laugh. <laughs> bro. And then also, I got to like hit the other side of just like, and also, whatever joke this is that you tell has to be like for everything that's happened. Ooh, this is on your shoulder. Oh man. Incredible. I absolutely love that that made it in, by the way. <laughs> I loved just along with that thing about Kai. Like whenever we get stuck in a character, I feel like Kai got stuck as Toad for a while. Oh my wrong? god! Like that, <laughs> and as much as Michael gets stuck as old man and uh, etc. Mm -hmm. But like Kai, one amazing Toad impression. Great. Not everyone can do that. He <laughs> actually incredible. incredible. Two to not break as she's like reading fortunes with you and like doing improv, but she kept a straight face the whole time. I would have been dying laughing. I, I thought that I, I thought I fucking had her ass. I almost close. had Blaine with close. the fucking yeah. horoscope, yeah. dude. You know what was fucking funny? The whole chimney sweep thing that at least did. Like, yeah. like that was so goddamn funny. Again, another thing, I'm just like, I hate that I can't, her being like, oh, I'm the chimney sweep. And she comes in, she tries like a chimney sweep and she's got black lung. And she, yeah. she's like, my God, oh, chimney lung. <laughs> And the then she dies, dies, she drops dead, and then we have a, a funeral, funeral yeah. and we all give eulogies. Yeah. <clears throat> and then like, and then because of the show, like at some point in the middle of the eulogy, Elise just like crawled away and left. <laughs> and I remember being like, the bit wasn't even over. Because again, it's a thing where you're like, oh, thank God something's happening. You know, you're not just <laughs> all standing right, there right. just like going, oh my God. And I remember saying afterwards, like, what? Oh, like, what happened? And Lisa's like, I just had to get out of there. It was bombing. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, that was a lifeline. You know, again, we're not allowed to laugh. <laughs> it was so, if she had stayed, it would have gotten, I would have, it would have gotten. It was good. The sadder, was good. the sadder it got, the funnier it was for me. <laughs> Well, like, it was like her boyfriend, her, her 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 girlfriend was a broom. <laughs> <laughs> her broom friend. I like and it. And then I think it was well, me, it was either me or Blaine <sighs> insisted that after the chimney sweep died, we stole her her girlfriend. The broom was our you, girlfriend. You 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 ended up with like four four I different by girlfriends. The end of it, yeah. He had like a blow up doll. Yeah. He had like, <laughs> you had you had like a whole entourage. Were you dating the raccoon head at any point? Nah, oh, okay. I didn't date. Just fucking. Oh, okay. no, that's fucking. <laughs> it's very fast. It's the things. It's the things you cling on to. Man. Oh yeah. It's, it's a real. It's a real survivor situation. Like like not the show. Like a plane crashed in the mountain. Yeah. yeah. And instead of eating your friends, you have to pretend to fuck a raccoon. I'll have to ask Elise. Like, I want to think that as a performer, I'm she must have thought you could like crawl off while the cameras were looking at something else. But the beauty of this production, no, no, the cameras I mean, went, no, 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 no she knew. It, she knew. I mean, she's uh, one of the other hosts of the show. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm saying in the she moment, just she just went. Happened. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I can't stay here any longer. Get and it was me like, out. Why is she crawling out. away? <laughs> They're gonna go on for forever. <laughs> the safe word is whoopsie. <laughs> oh my god. There's so much good shit that happened that we'll never see the light of day. That's that's a lot of shows. Like, like, I would say that about Trucked Up too. Yeah. yeah. Like the thing is, at some point though, like it has to make sense to some degree. Even you watch a show and you think like, oh, you could have put this in, it'd be fine. It's like, no. At some point, it's just a bunch of shit that might be funny, but. It's just all sort of happening at once with no cohesive oh, oh, story. Last, last laugh? Just anything. Mm -hmm. just, yeah. just, just of like, like trucked up. There's so much funny shit. It's like, I'll put it in. It's like, yeah, but like, there has to be a show at least. It's yeah. like, this is the beginning and this is the intro. And where do you put an extra 40 minutes of just like funny <laughs> shit? That is the, know? so I started on trucked up. I started working post. I worked as a story super, or a story producer for the first time. And basically every single episode of that show, uh, as before it even goes to the editors, what you have to do is there are string outs of each cook and each cook is 30 minutes and you have to sit through each cook. And I don't mean like, because remember two teams are cooking at the same yeah, yeah. time. Yeah. 
those aren't one string out. Those are two yeah, yeah. separate 30 minute string out. So you have to watch two hours of footage and write down every little thing of note that happens and when it happened so that some editor can then pull it out. And you like make these lists of everything. And even when you cut it down to the best shit, it's like you have a 50 minute episode and then you have to kill your darlings, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. Like you have to yep. go through and like this fucking was so yep. funny, but right. like it doesn't actually like, if I'm thinking about like, does this actually add anything to this narrative? It doesn't. And also, like, if I put this in, I have to cut something else that, like, adds something in. So that's why you start losing shit. Yeah. And it sucks. But it's also, I don't know. Well, truck up specifically, because I wasn't there. Um, I was actually in the back of one of the trucks the entire time we were shooting. I wasn't there <laughs> oh. with you. Um, is there anything that you want to talk about that was, like, left on, like, under the hood, if I may? Well, one of the Man. grossest things that I, that, that I learned on the last day of filming is that uh, at one point, uh, Cody went into one of the trucks at night because he had forgotten something in there. And when he turned on his flashlight, there were cockroaches <laughs> everywhere in oh the truck. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then when he came back in the morning, he looked for them, and they were somehow gone. Because but they had just been there. They probably just came Woo! by. Yeah, oh, just oh no, wait, wait. they fucking did. I'll just stop Open by. Light. Oh, my God. I have to, one, I, no. you holding up a chicken, wait, was it a chicken nugget? <laughs> Like it was, they were too big. Oh, the tater tots. No, the tater tots. No. Your tater tots were too big, and then, and then you're like, these are giant. And then you hand it, and you put it in your hand, and it looks it's normal. Like normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then handing it off to Eric Bador, and he's like, yeah, yeah, but that's too big. It was like, I guess that was like, it's like Lord of the Rings, <laughs> first perspective. Like it's huge. It's small. It's really that funny. was so fucking good. And then I don't know if you can tell the story. The story when. Of you, whenever you went and picked up the fast food. Oh yeah, can, that made can, it in. No, no, but the the thing you saw. Oh, can you oh, tell yeah. that story? Can you tell that? So story? yeah, I went to. Uh, God, fuck. All right, spoiler alert for Trucked Up. If you haven't seen the show, go watch it's the episode show. episode like four. four. It's episode four. three, I think. Three or four. Yeah, yeah okay. three. Well, There's you're six. joking. You've seen the show. I've seen every episode. Because you Yes, you support... every episode. Yeah. I will always watch Trucked Up. If I am awake, I am watching Trucked Up. God damn right. <laughs> if I breathe, I am watching Trucked Up. You played that. You played that. I am oh. watching Trucked Up. Right? If sir, yes, uh, sir. You just flattened another stool. I'm going to get an angry text later from Mark. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> if you haven't seen, this is my stool. Don't if you haven't seen Trucked Up, skip the next 10 minutes. And you might be saying, well, this is live. And <clears throat> fuck you. So They got it muted anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. so in uh, episode three... I decided that I couldn't make chow mein and orange chicken. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to leave and go buy the, the meal from the restaurant and then just bring it back. And uh, I didn't, this is one of the bits that everyone points to when they're like, oh, the show is so scripted. That's not what happened. I pitched this idea to the producers and the director and they went, no. And I said, well, I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> So right. you can be on my side. <laughs> and unfortunately, like, you know, it's it's not like we're all standing in a room talking about it, yeah. but we're also not sequestered in soundproof boxes, right? Yeah. Like, right. You just don't go out of your way to spoil shit. You know what I mean? Like yeah. everybody here is like content creators. And food. so it's just like, yeah, we're gonna have to do a couple takes, but don't come out until the first take. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, exactly. like everyone, everything that we say is legit is as legit as possible. Yeah. And so you doing that is like Im immediately we hear rumblings of like of, of course, like yeah. you getting told no. And so then unfortunately <laughs> for like production, then the second we hear it, we just go, Oh yeah, let them do it. Yeah. And let we're like, it's funny. <laughs> well, because then it's the thing, it's like, well, it's not really scripted, it's more an idea Armando had and we're letting him do it because why the fuck wouldn't we? You know yeah. what I mean? It's funny. It's and a, it's like it's the rare opportunity where we're making the show. I would love to see that. Yes. We're not going to let him get away with it. No, 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 no you can't <laughs> but, we'll, win. but we'll let him do it. Yeah, and so, I guess, so it's I guess. like, that might be the only scripted part is like, obviously it's impossible for you to do it. And this is the reality of, of the magic of movie and TV. It's impossible for you to go and get the coverage and people don't know. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? You're like, taking a whole camera. Like, like, even if it's like, do it in secret. The camera is missing. Right. We don't exactly. Know where exactly. It's like, do it in secret. Six people will be like, where are they? Like, you walk off to the bathroom, people are like, where the uh, fuck did they go? It's just not Armando? a real thing. Yeah. But you can go, hey, just, just trust me. Let me do this thing. And we're going, let him just let him do this. Let him do it. And, and you so, had, you, they had my fucking, there were so many things that we did this, this bit, this bit. 
it was This Joe. is even better. Bro, that was even at least this was your like, hey, I have an idea. This was Joe walked by. Yeah. And you went, <laughs> perfect. We're gonna use you. <laughs> Literally, he you. was because we were working in the same building. Uh -huh. we're, he left his desk and was just like, oh, how's it going? It's like good. And you're like, Hmm. Mm, hang on. Are you, are you doing anything right now? I'm, looking, I'm fucking licking my lips. Are you doing anything right now? Yeah. That was You're that. Funny? That was literally. He walked by, and then and then even then was like, absolutely not. No, no. And I was like, yeah. You're gonna be my doppelganger. And it was like, I mean, it came down to Eric. It came down to Eric being like, Drew. I gotta be honest. You're making the wrong call. Ooh. We got it. We gotta have him in. We gotta Ooh. have him in. And and he like he he talked him into it. Yeah. He was, Drew, Drew's sensible. He's sensible. He's a, he's a good. He's a great director. Yes. I really like him a lot, and I, I, that's that's what I loved is how he was very collaborative. Once you, once you made a compelling case, right? They weren't just because you can't fuck around all the time. No, he's got so much shit to do and so little time. So sometimes it, you annoy him fifteen times. It is easy for him to go fuck off. And you go, no, no, this is a good one. I promise. This is I, the swear, one I, I swear. I swear. I know I said about the last one, but I no, mean but it this, this time. Uh, it's a lot of that. So you can't blame the guy. Come but, on, that's a good job. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shutting the you gotta hear the down, story. You know? So yes. I, I, I get in the, I get in the Uber. We go to the, we go to the. Well, it's not technically an Uber. It doesn't matter. We go to Panda Express. Uh, once I get there, there's like this weird commotion, and there's a line of people waiting and just like doing this fucking, like looking at something. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And I like walk a little bit out of the ways to see and there's a man, an employee of Panda Express, that is standing <laughs> on the grill. Oh, what? And, he is, and I'm like, what the fuck? And he, there, the, what he's doing is he has his apron off and he's using it to try to catch the biggest cockroach I have ever seen in my entire life. Like the size of a rat, dude. <laughs> It was fucking huge. Like, I think it had voting right now. <laughs> <laughs> he uses the apron. <laughs> he uses the apron, and he finally catches it, and then he goes, move. And he hops He hops off of the grill and runs over to the fucking drive-thru window and then throws it out of <laughs> the window, the world closes now. the window, <laughs> walks back over to the first person line, and goes... <sighs> What can I get you? <laughs> yes. What can I get you? And you went, oh my God. Okay, here's, I need, I need some challenge. <laughs> that was crazy. I need some challenge. Yeah. I need some orange chicken. And that cockroach crawled its whole way over to our studio. Insane. And, and, uh, and stayed up and there drugs. that night. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was, it was like, this shit happens every so often where, where something... Magical, so, yeah. Oh, Something that magical was, yeah. will happen yes. to the point where you're like, "This, hot, what?" Dude, Dude that's like a face jam. It's why we go to the restaurants because every time we go to a restaurant, some insane person finds us and and is like, "Hey, you wanna, you want some gold?" Yes. <laughs> yeah. And they don't know who. Let me tell are. you about my sick dog. And I go, <laughs> "Sit down." Explores. <laughs> Sit down. Years for this. Right it's now. Crazy. We like, like, a like one of the stories we went. I don't even remember what restaurant we were at, but it's like waitress. It was like Outback or something. It was like right at the end. Right at the end. She's just like. Hey, so uh, do you want to see my new? What she said she's my new pet or my new toy. <laughs> and, and we all just go pet, pet. pet I went. Is it the pet. same thing? Dude, we all look at each other and go pet, pet. And she goes, oh yeah. And it's like a cat or something. We're like, oh, go. Well, what she did was she went, oh, okay. Oh yeah. all, no, no, hang on. She goes, ah, oh, it's my pet. And I'm like, oh, it's like a cat. Whatever she goes, yeah. And here's my toy. And it was a gun. <laughs> Oh, it was just a handgun. And then and then literally, I think it was Nick goes, oh, don't use the toy on the pet. <laughs> so and it was just like, we barely spoke to this woman. There was nothing, and she had to be like, check out my cat and gun. What do you think? Oh, and we're just like, oh, uh, okay, bye. Like, right, and I so mean, then yeah. we let, well, again, that that's what we all thought. We walked out, and we were like, so the gun's in the restaurant, right? And we're like, she has it. She has, oh, it. has it. It's on it. The gun's in her locker. You're not that's, allowed to carry you don't just, in Texas. You don't just guns? run around yeah. showing you people your, your toy after they clearly said pet. And so, so then we were joking for a while. I'm like, man, I kind of want to make a face jam shirt that says this cat or gun. I want that. That's but it's like, that's, we're just sitting there eating our food. Hey, you want to see something? Absolutely. <laughs> another, another person at the restaurant, also to your point, yeah, nice. Texas does allow you to carry a gun wherever you go. I got two on me right now. You can't, but you I cannot. I got tickets to the show. Oh, shit. Yeah, nice. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> but they won't allow you to carry dildos because Texas can't have women coming. That is... Against Wait, everything I in Texas. literally, I don't, Ted Cruz I don't know the, the current state. legislation. Because people started, yeah. I, people started coming. Look, <laughs> yeah. look it up, BK. 
there is a legal limit to how many dildos you can own in Texas, and for a while, yeah. like... Wait, is this a bit? No, no I'm no, dead, no, I'm no, dead no. fucking it's, serious. It's, it, I'm it's true, and Chris is scouts yeah. It's Chris, No, no, I'm holding up the number. I believe you. It's okay. two, is it really? and, and there's, really and there's limits yeah. on yeah. size, and I know this because we did a there's bit on... There's size? There's protests yeah. where people were bringing there's, dildos to campus, and they go, oh my god, the scandal. We're like, fuck you, and that, let us have what's sex. What's the limit? The limit's two, and I think they're... That's right. Zeke, you want to know? Armando is... For feminists everywhere. Yes. All right. And sir, I, sir, what did you did you drop something? No. On, no. On, on social disorder, I went and protested this law and mm -hmm. said it was strict enough. And that. that <laughs> let me let me let me tell you this. Chris, oh my God. Let me, it, yeah. let me, let me just say this. Let me just say this for for the fact that BK is still processing the telling, of the legislation. BK's, One moment. BK is processing what last laugh was. Just go ahead and show her an episode of social Basically, disorder, yeah. and you will crawl out of your own skin. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's Chris being so fucking awkward on the and street. weird. On it's an on the street like it in camera right, video, yeah. <laughs> where he just goes and acts like Chris amongst normal people. You want to bring it back? Films their reactions, <laughs> and you just feel so bad for these people. If I do it with God. you, will you bring it back? It's uh, not even Chris being an asshole, it's just them not prepared to I'll deal with it. Would, it's just me monitoring the footage. Like, yeah. I was like the girl in the oh, band you while will, you used to. You will be yes. writhing. Because you'll be a great voice. Be you'll, like, be going, like, you'll, you'll be so watching boring. it like, all, like this. Like, no, 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 no. We have the, what, what is the clockwork orange fucking. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Well, going back to, sorry, the Roach story, which is amazing. Yeah. Have y'all seen the videos of, there's like the, the stories of Waffle House employees being mm. like built different. It's like they're just somehow, the, it's the training or the experience is like they're always going to be there and ready to throw down if they need to. So there's another recent video where someone hurls a chair over the counter of course and like a fucking matrix move, like she's fucking It triggered. doesn't make sense. She takes it midair, like the woman who's she working my counter. She, she oh, literally dude, goes, dude, and it's, like it's judo trans. Full out, it's yeah. a full out fucking she, knockdown she waffle takes house. Energy and moves watch this, it. it's watch incredible. this woman catch it. She's like, fuck, fuck with me again. Oh, because fuck it's the again. sensation, watch. Incredible. Whoa! Oh she, she like, it, looks, it looks fake because, so I first saw this video and it had John Cena in it and he was not there. Yeah. And I kept thinking <laughs> that chair must be be part of <clears throat> like, the, the editing. Yeah, and then oh. I'm like, I saw the original, I'm like, that was real? Yeah. <laughs> she not only blocks it, but it, it almost looks like she like, <laughs> she moves it. She's like, she like a fucking chair spike spiegels it. Yeah, she's like, she wa like water. <laughs> and she flings it out of the way. And so she's like, it's, um, I don't know where the Waffle House is. There I is. do. Yeah. Oh, I'm saying like, where? The chair. Oh, here, it's in Austin. Insane. No, wait. Are you yeah, serious? Oh, that's awesome. We gotta go interview. That's awesome. Yes, ma'am. No, 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 no. She doesn't work there anymore. She got fucking fired. She got fired. Well, I mean, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. Well, not for blocking the chair. I'm gonna be honest. Thank you. Let's go. Previous five minutes is everyone in the store punching and biting and beating the shit out of her. Well, that's just waffle. Okay, that's why she got fired. She got fired for catching the chair. The point is, she got fired, but she's got options. Okay, dude, there's like that's like a social media thing. Waffle House. It's a viral thing. I bet to that Waffle House. Yeah, it's her catching that chair. Did you throw the chair? Gus went to that Waffle House. I think it's also a lot of like, don't fuck with this white girl. I. Oh my god. A, a lot of the artwork. She's and ready. This is her standing there. She's ready. She's gonna be at RTX this year, and you can pay five dollars to throw a chair. <laughs> 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 I, I don't know why she got fucking. I mean, like, I didn't watch the full video. I saw that quick clip. Of right. Her, like, oh, dude, it was. It's. It's insanity. It's just it's all. Poetry. Just like, it's, I don't know how this started. It's like people pulling hair right at the beginning yeah. and clearly there's the fight and there's people trying to break it up. But then other people, both <clears throat> friends of obviously customers and employees, they just keep coming over and it's like, punch in the head. And I'm just like, <laughs> just fucking stop. Like yeah. the people that work there, they just keep piling on like, punch you in the head. Second part of this. So it's like half the employees are fighting yeah. and half the employees are trying to stop people. Someone mentioned the guy at the register doesn't even look, but he still ducks. He can There's also, he there's, can. there's also, yeah. you can't tell from this angle, there's about 25 people outside the store up against the yeah, yeah. The audio is like a fucking, just like a backyard fight. It's just people screaming like, come on now, yep. come on oh, now. It's a bunch yeah. of people cheering, but also being like, yeah. it's, it's I just so being, just being like. where's the smoke coming from? There's like, that's is just, that, no, that's oh, that's just Waffle House. Waffle House. Waffle House. Yeah, it's just yeah, you can see, Waffle House, baby. You can window. see, the, yeah, there is okay, a reflection. Okay, that's a reflection. Okay, I thought it was like some smoke. I was like, yeah, what's dude. going on? I, it's a crazy video. I, yes, the reason the I know so much about it is because, and I have the video available, it's because I read, quote tweeted it and said, I'm fucking in love. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, saw your, 
<laughs> it's like if you, if you have if you or someone you know has information on this woman, please tell her I love her. <laughs> and then I, and then everyone was like, oh, here's yeah. her social skills. I've seen a oh bunch of artwork of that woman <laughs> with a chair. I love her. And it was great. a chair. My, it, dude, ball. it's it's an insane video to, to watch. To be fair, it makes me want waffles. It's house. just yeah. it's it should be marketing. It makes me want yeah. waffles. Doesn't make me want to go there. I want to go there now. We'll go to Waffle House. We can go. We'll go to the chair. Chris, she makes it look easy. You're not going to catch the chair. You want right? to like, okay. get into the building? You have to actually catch the chair. <laughs> the chair. Yeah, I know. Um, I'll catch it with my face. Yeah. Make sure you spin it. Yeah, yeah that's important. You really got to like use your whole body with the throw. <laughs> Slightly going back. You said she's a chair bender. Please, Chris, she'd be a metal bender. Obviously, oh, sure. she's super OP. She's that's been true. training under Toss Legion. <laughs> I was love that. Drew about this yesterday because we were drinking by the, well, I was drinking and he was drinking water by uh, at, a, at a place by the Waffle House that that happened at. Uh, my favorite story, my favorite Waffle House story, because everyone you know, Waffle House famous for having fights. Uh, and one of the, waffles and waffles yeah. that are pretty good. Well, there's. Three things they Side did. Of waffles. They got waffles. They will fuck up your order, and they will fuck you up too. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I went to Waffle House as an adult, me and my girlfriend at the time went to Louisiana. We were. Uh, I used to go all the time when I was a kid. We were going for the first time as adults. We went to a Waffle House, and when we got in there, all these people were like about to fight. It's two dudes that are like getting into each other's faces. They're like yelling at each other, and they're from different tables. So you know, Romeo Juliet. Yeah. Story. yeah. They're fucking yelling at each other. Their Star tables get up. <laughs> Denny's and Norris. <laughs> <laughs> and so they're they're like about to start fighting. It's like you can it hasn't started yet, but it's about to get very physical. And there's one dude that's just sitting down and he's just eating. <laughs> and then he sighs and he does, you know the whistle that you can yeah, do where you yeah. go like oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So he does that. Everyone stops and looks over, and he puts a gun down. <laughs> oh my on the god! Table and goes, "I'm fucking eating." That's <laughs> awesome. And then they all laugh. Oh my Wait, god! This, you saw this? I saw this. That's so awesome. He went, "I'm fucking eating." <laughs> and then they all they like kind of walked out, and he went, "Fuck!" <laughs> and then put it back. <laughs> and just kept eating. It wasn't that's afraid so, of anything. That's so crazy. <laughs> that's the franchise owner. Yeah. <laughs> the guy owns that waffle <laughs> house. <laughs> I, to this day, because it wasn't like, that's one of the only times I've ever seen a gun and ha I didn't feel threatened. He, wa he was saying this clip. He was saying that's like, scary. I'm eating. <laughs> Stop fighting. It's incredible. Yeah, he wasn't threatening. Right. No, the guy, no. it was just, shut up. He was saying a fact. He was like, I could kill us all. It just, I want to try that energy, but it's like, I'm, I'm playing my switch. Right? <laughs> Enough. Everybody, everybody's different, but it just, it blows me away, like, where that threshold is, is not just a physical altercation, right? Like, that's huge. Like, you're going to attack somebody, you know right. what I mean? But it's like, okay, people get pissed and, just, and they fight people. But even then, I think more importantly, not that it should be, People are like more concerned about breaking shit than like hitting someone. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If you like broke a window at a restaurant, people would be way more concerned about that than like shoving somebody. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't give a shit. So when you just, when, when that threshold's been crossed where normal people in a restaurant that they're just purchasing food at is just like, no, we're just gonna fuck this place up. <laughs> I, I don't give a fuck. Chairs, I'm breaking shit. It's just like, how do you cross gone. that threshold and then continue to be in it? And nobody stops. It's just more and more people. Say, just go be, ahead. You know what? Me too. Bro, yeah, again, there's like it. 25 people outside filming. And they're being like, stop, stop. But it's just like, bro, yeah. just get in there. Yeah. Like, there's it's three Texas. people trying to stop this Everyone's fight. Going, Hell there's yeah, three woo. people stopping this fight. And eight other people just going, let me yep. punch you in the back. <laughs> and I'm just like, guys, you're still at work. You're still at work. The waffles are cooking. It's really funny. That's what has, they need what, their 15 minutes. What they threshold has minutes. been crossed where it's like, that's for society has fallen. <laughs> we'll never be held accountable and for I anything think. that happens now. Break everything, Michael, smash everything. Seen, like, Texas There's 400 people filming us. <laughs> you open the door, it's Mad Max inside. Oh, right. no. <laughs> and you're like, oh, society hasn't collapsed? And she's furious. I apologize for my yeah, behavior. Yeah. I guarantee ready. you there's one guy in there that's just like, man, I'm never going to get my hash browns. <laughs> <laughs> Do, they do uh, get good the hash the browns. They do. I get them smothered. That, guy, that guy's Chris, and he's going, I'll wait. 
Oh. Uh, <laughs> sorry, so you your ask is going to be delayed. I'll wait. Curious. <laughs> I want her East to Coasters. Um, the energy that I felt when I first traveled <laughs> northward to your region and tried mm -hmm. to order food was everyone's yelling and I'm scared. Um, so I feel like I, that would just be me in any restaurant. I'd be like, there's a fight about to break out right now, but it's just them asking for my order. I really need that Southern pleasantry of like, hi, can I ask about your day? What's going on? What do you How want to order? Are you, are you one of those? You like it when the waiter sits <laughs> no. next like, to you? No, it's, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. Just be direct. What do you want? I like right, it when the right. waiter, I like right. when when the waiter, like the waiter comes down, down, sits in my sits lap. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, so yeah. Cuddle with me. Not the Mets. I know what I want. Here's here's the thing. If I'm holding the menu or the menu you still open? Don't come don't over Don't talk here. to me. I'm looking. I'll you put know it down. that, and I know that. Also, I understand if it's down and closed, I better fucking be ready to order. Thank That's you. That's my response. Don't, down closed stacked? Down oh, closed is like, I've signaled that I'm ready. So, again, if you're down closed menu, someone comes over, I can take your order, you go, oh, I'm not ready yet. What the fuck are you doing? Hurry open up. that goddamn menu up, okay? Can I read to you You're the signaling menu? I'm done. That's, to me, the East Coast is very like, are you ready? You're not? Yeah, it's a system. <laughs> what the it's fuck? A system. It's, it makes everything so much faster. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I like the places that have the bell, though. That's my favorite. Oh, the I mean, what? I'm fine the with the bell. The bell? The you bell? have a place oh, with the bell? The bell, bell or the bell. buzz or the gotcha. bing. A bell? You ring a bell? Oh, I feel, I feel, you, you you press I feel like, like, like an asshole. Beeper. Like, no. They put it there, Chris. Yeah. It's, it's I'm with Chris, the system. Yeah. Chris, I can't I explain it. I would never ring the bell. Chris, I would never ring Chris, if you walk in and put a bell on the counter and ring it, you're an asshole. Ringy bell. If you ring a bell that the business put out, I think you're fine. True. It, it's true. Yo, motherfuckers, you ring my doorbell? <laughs> what the fuck? Follow up question for Chris. Do you ring it once, or are you the person who goes? No, no that's no, an that asshole move. No, no, no. <laughs> that's an asshole move. I'm but like, I feel like you, gotta, you, you have to at least go, go bing, bing, <laughs> twice is just to hear If it's it. like oh, a, yeah, the classic bell, yeah. You presented to me, I think, the best possible thing that I've ever heard <laughs> in my entire life, which is somebody that brings their own yeah. <laughs> Someone going, we don't have a belt, but I better hurry up. And they're running yeah. out from the back. Going to any fucking restaurant. Like, imagine doing this at any, like a Waffle House. Right. And they, ha they aren't coming to tell take your order, so you reach into your purse. Yeah. Oh, Come on! Here. And then the, and <laughs> someone would hurry up. Chairs. I guarantee you someone would hurry up and then oh, ask goodness. questions. <laughs> Fuck, I guess we got a bell. I don't know. I don't know. When did we start bringing it on the table? I'm just saying, I like it. Don't bother me. Don't talk to me. Like, I I'll let you know oh, when dude, I'm ready to Oh, dude, it's the same thing like to, in a store. Like... Can I help you? No, I'll ask you. No. I can't explain that. I want it to be, I, like, I want the touch screen. I want zero I'll contact or all contact. I'm at home goods. I'm minding my own business. Here's, here's I'm looking what at rugs. It. Don't I'm gonna come be honest. to me and ask me if I need People help. People like Lindsay ruin it. Who are looking for something? They don't ask, Friendship. and then the oh, and then the cut, and then the employee oh, goes, and the employee goes, you look scared. Do you need help? And they go, yes, I do. That's my secret. And I'm it always scared. Them. Now they come to me and they go, do you need help? And I go, get the fuck away from me. Don't talk to me. <laughs> don't look at me. No, no more than you. <laughs> if I needed help, I'd ring my fucking bell. Yeah. Bing, 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 bing. They ask where the towels are. <laughs> because they ask me if I need help, and I just hold their hand quietly. And that's, they're like, oh, not that much help. Do you need help? There's a therapist down In a lot of ways. Come over here. My recliner's in the corner here. We can talk about it. You got some Zillow? Absolutely not. I'm about to lose my mind. I almost, oof. I almost went full New York on some. Some please. worker trying to ask me for help. I'm trying to channel some of that energy what does that to mean? stand up for myself. So please let me know. <laughs> That's like full New Yorker is like it's like it's like a zero to hundred. Mm. Like I'm exactly chilling. I'm walking around, perusing, have a good time. I'm like, oh, this is nice. I'm matching stuff up. I'm taking pictures. Comes over, says, "Excuse me." I said, "Don't put your hand on me." Don't, <laughs> sure, don't hand. touch. I said, "Don't put your hand on me. I'm fine." He didn't yeah. even let me finish. He was like, "Wait, excuse me." Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I was one moment away from just full, full flip. They were gonna have to escort me out. I was like, please don't, please, please, please. I am, I'm good, I'm fine. He's gonna get banned from Target. <laughs> from Target, they said, I love it. Uh, ma'am, I'm gonna need you to get out the clearance section. <laughs> were they asking for help from you or was it like, hello, no, they I wanna talk they to wanna you? No, they wanna oh, help, they wanna help me. I don't oh, need oh. help. Oh, I, no, yeah, I look no. like I need help. No, 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 right no. now, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I get offended, I go, I go, listen, do I look lost to you? Am, should I, am I not like old enough to be here? Like my brain goes to like the world. You're like oh. defensive, you're like, I fuck you. Yeah, yeah. 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 I should be here. Yeah. 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 Fuck off. Like, go, at, go fucking go. find Lindsay crying in a corner yeah, so she yeah. desperately <laughs> needs <laughs> you. And will never ask. I was thinking about how I'm usually the opposite. I need help, help. No, and I go into me. child mode and I go, excuse me. 
<laughs> Unless you fucking come in touch with her. Scanner. I Unless need you help, come, Michael. You better be coming with a scanner. That's the only thing I'll ever need. If you don't have a scanner in your hand, <laughs> just walk away. Please leave me. I, I know exactly what you're talking about because I, I did almost that today. I got so fucking annoyed. <laughs> but I can, and I knew it like in the moment and I, and I pulled it back because it was like zero to 100 East Coast. But it was without, without being rude. But like, all right, let me explain this to you right now. <laughs> And it was like 60 seconds of that. And the person just did not respond. And, I, and then I went. Okay. And, it was, and I went, I know that's not your fault. <laughs> Wait, but, I, but I need this. Right, so, right, so, right. So long story short, it's my medication. I take, I take <clears throat> psoriasis. I take injections. And it's the whole fucking thing between my insurance, my doctor's office, the company that makes the drug, and then the pharmacy that ships out the drug. Yeah. There's like 10 million fucking lines that have to be crossed for this to happen. And so the in, the crazy thing is like it got approved and it's got approved like three months ago and I still can't get it shit. They're still oh like, oh, we don't have this form. And so I've been having to drive to my dermatologist like every other week to they just give me samples so I can actually take okay, the yeah. medication. Right, right. So I'm on it. But I swear to God, every fucking time I'm on the phone, it's, you know, you got to wait forever to get to somebody. And then it's like, yeah, we can't proceed. We don't have the paperwork. And it's always like, okay, what paper? What do you need? How do I get the paperwork? Well, I, need we, the paperwork. They'll say stuff like, oh, we just we don't have authorization from this company. It's like, okay, what does that mean though? What do you need? Tell me what you need. What's authorization? What form? How what can paper? I get it? Whatever. Like, how do like, I get it? And every phone call is like, okay, you need this, 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 this. Do this. And I go, got it. it. And I'll go do it, and I'll send it. And then someone will go, we got it. X will call you in one one day, and I'll wait three. Just so it's no not problem. like you're going to your yeah. Then I call back and it's like, oh, yeah. hey, what's the status on my thing? And they go, oh, I, we're missing a bunch of paperwork. And it's every time I'm, them going, well, they did it. <clears throat> and then the other one going, no, I will. I think they did it. And I kid you not, it's been months. I did it before I left. I did it the whole time mm -hmm. I was on vacation. I'm doing it now. And so this week, again, it's like got the last paperwork in, got whatever, got the company that sends the final like, Okay, you can give him the drug to the pharmacy. They're like, that's done. We're sending it. They should call you in a day. Okay. And so that was like Monday. Mm -hmm. And so I called him this morning. And I'm like, hey, I'm just checking on the stats. And also, it's a whole thing just to get there. You got to immediately give them, because it's medical information. Right. You got to give them so much information yeah. up front just to go, okay, what do you want? And so I'm like, yeah, just checking my stats. And they were like, yeah, it's just, it's not active yet. And I'm like, okay, why? <laughs> Can you explain to me why? Here's the thing. Okay. And I was like, and, and she's like, well, it just says we need this. And I go, I, I'm, I'm going to need some specifics because you're telling me I need this. Now look at me this. Look at me this. It's been months. And I'm not exaggerating, ma'am. Yeah. I mean months. I'm driving to my doctor's office every other month to get these medications. And it's medication that's been approved for, for my insurance company. I'm just confused at this point. What would you like me to do? Right. Who do I need to talk to? Because the thing is, it's not like people tell me I don't know. People say, do this and you're good. And, and I do it. Good. And then every time yeah, someone yeah. goes, who the hell are you? <laughs> and I'm like, for the love of God, please. Can you, can, is there something you can do? Can we call the other company? Can we get a three-way call here? Because I'm just going in circles and I, and I just, I need my medication and I'm, I'm run out of options. And then it's just silence and I go. And it's not your fault. <laughs> I know, it's not your fault, goodness. I'm just, and she's like, oh, I, oh, I understand. She's like, yeah, we can we can call the other company and do like a three-way call. And I'm like, great, let's, let's do that. Do it. Dude, this is the beauty of it. We get to the three-way call. It's like, okay, we got all sorted out. Hand it off back to the company that said it's all good. Turns out it's not all good. She's like, oh, well, there's conflicting reports. She's like, I figured it out. I found it. Stay on the line, though. I'm just going to, this is on my way to work today. Stay on the line because trap. I'm just going to, just stay on the line so I can confirm for sure, hey, it's good to go. And as I'm waiting, the call drops. God damn it. And I just, I just, my eyes rolled into the back of my head and then I got to work and I started like doing You got to, yeah, today. you can't. And so I'm just like, oh I had God. to catch myself on the phone and not like start yelling at this woman. <clears throat> but I'm yeah, just like, like, like right. ma'am, don't tell me it's not here and have a good day. Right. That's. Help me. I don't need to hear. Help. I need <laughs> assistance. <laughs> no. And, How and, many times? And I don't know what it is, and you don't know what it is. 
Someone has to know. Please team up with me. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Having seen Rage Quit, that was pretty calm and professional. Yes. Uh, sure. I just like to imagine. Honestly, Mikey, you kind of white mom to that. I'm very yeah. impressed. It was a little Karen-y. It was. It was. It was like. It was, like, it was clear. It, it was clear. Right. Like I'm yeah. getting fucking annoyed. Right. And I should be. Right. I'm doing everything everyone's telling yes. me. Can I get my goddamn medication? <laughs> please, please. I can imagine you just fucking putting a gun on the table being like, I'm fucking sick. I'm sick <laughs> here. I'm sick. I, just, I need my medicine. <laughs> I'm just trying to be healthy. I got a gun, I got a cat. Which one do I got? <laughs> I, had, I had a bit planned that I just, I just drove up. To, it's like far, my different homes is far. I drove over there the other day to get my shot, and then I was going to film with Alfredo, and then it kind of fell through, and so we ended up doing it the next day. But as we're standing outside in the parking lot before we left, I was like, I was going to do this in the video where I'm like, oh, man, we need a boost. And I, I was wearing this jacket, and I just pulled the giant needle out of my pocket. And I said, <laughs> like that in the parking lot. <laughs> and I really wanted to do it in a video, but I really need to take this medication today. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I even, I even, I even, I even, I pushed it a little bit too early. And so before it hit my stomach, it squirted Squirt out a little, little bit. bit. Oh, no. <laughs> and he's like, you got to win. No, it's good. There's enough in there. It's fine. It's perfect. <laughs> Lift the shirt up. We're fine. <laughs> See, I, I need, I need, I need like a, a, a tutor for like going east coast on someone's ass. Yeah, I'm taking lessons too. Let's yeah. partner up. Let's do it. The other day, I uh, how do I say this correctly? Mm -hmm. I uh, had eaten a substance <laughs> that changed the way that my brain worked for a okay. little bit. Got it. Mm, uh, so, um, so I felt very, yes. I felt very happy okay. and at one with the universe. Oh, you had McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. He it. was loving it. <clears throat> it. At a certain point, I got really hungry, so I ordered food. I just and it was like it was late as shit. I was like it was like eleven thirty or something. Things are closing. Yeah. Uh, I order food and I order a taco bowl from just some random place. Uh, I'm losing the concept of time, so I don't realize mm. that it's been an hour and a half and my food's still not here. Oh, no. And I look, and the guy is like two cities away. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, oh, not wow. even. Did you deliver to LA? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. Oh, no. Man, no, 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 no. out of the this country. Was, this was you either. ordered it. Okay. Like, you seem far. <laughs> yeah. I did is do this that. the right he location? Did, <laughs> did not respond to it at all. Oh, no. Uh, and, <laughs> well, no, that's not true, because eventually he did respond, and he goes, I got another order real quick. I'm like, my guy, my brother in Christ, you are <laughs> almost not in L.A. County anymore. <laughs> Eventually, uh, I think, so like I said, I order at 1130 at like 145. I get a notification that your order's dropped off. Uh, and he goes, I dropped your order off. They wouldn't let me in. And I go, what? And he sends me a picture of my food sitting outside of an apartment building that is not my apartment <laughs> next to a homeless man sleeping on the oh. floor. Oh. And I mean homeless man's head, my food. Whoa. He, he and, just bailed. He's I, like, he's too far away. I'm just kidding. Well, yeah. it, it was, he, well, no, he put it down and just to cover his base, as he put it down, he went, Armando? <laughs> <laughs> and he walked away. <laughs> Here's your food with a picture of you. Sounds about right. Yeah. Looks yeah. About yeah. <laughs> well, I, I did realize that the, the apartment that he dropped it off is one that is like two buildings down from my actual building. So I go, okay, I can go outside. No, you didn't. <laughs> I can do you this. Went, you no, went, you didn't. You went looking for it? So I, I got in the elevator, which probably oh, had a was, picture? Yeah, I had a picture of where the you food was. You knew where it was. Uh, I, I got in the elevator, which was a fucking nightmare. And then I go all the way down, uh, and then the I... The elevator's a nightmare. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. What so about people? I get outside, and I find the place. I find, well, I find the dude. He's still laying there. My food is gone. Uh, and I look inside of the, this building and I see these door guys and I like knock on their, I knock on the door, they open it and I like tell them like what happened and they go, oh yeah, that guy was an asshole. And I go, what, what happened? And he goes, so this DoorDash driver like pulls up, comes out and he just throws the food there, starts walking away, comes back, takes a picture and we're, we go outside and we're like, hey man, if you want, we can like let you up. And this DoorDash driver goes, no, I don't get paid enough for that shit, which like, Right. Fair. All right. All right. Yeah. That's, that's fine. Yeah. That's fair. That's a fair mm -hmm. point. But don't throw my food. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't deliver it three hours late. And, and I don't even understand. I mean, like, my assumption is there's some sort of um, tracking, you know, with like yeah. GPS or whatever. When, when, when like a delivery driver almost delivers your food but doesn't. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, because yeah. that's happened to me a couple times where it's just like, 
wait, you stopped a block away and then left, and then it's like, order delivered. And it's like, you know no. they know. Yeah. So I'm just like, did you really just deliver it a block away, or was that like, are, are you like tricking the algorithm or something? Like pretending to deliver? Is it like a speed I, quota? I, I don't like understand it. On? That yeah. you've driven all the way to almost my house <laughs> and either ha never had food or left it a block away. I don't get it. Don't That's happened it. like three times. I'm gonna jump in my car and track you down. <laughs> I just don't know. I'm just like, I'm and then fine. and then I know, and I know they know because I call them, yeah. and it's not like direct. You know, it's yeah. not like yeah. right. They do the three way call. It's a three way. Like, oh, and then they just don't answer. And I'm like, what? Where is it? I'll go find it. Is it okay? That's the question. Did you want to go East Coast on them? Did they call you or did you follow up? Going no, that Tuesday? person you fucking yell at. It gets yes. worse. Well, that's what I was wondering. Wait, Hold what? Up. So yeah. the, the door guy for the building next to my apartment goes, yeah, me and him got into a screaming match. He like spit at me. I guess they, they that's got- That's assault, right? They, exactly. Yeah. They got so upset with each other because he was like, I can let you up. The DoorDash driver was like, I ain't doing that shit. Go fuck yourself. There's homeless people out here. They're going to steal my car. Like, just yelling. They, they got, they like, didn't physically fight, but I guess he spit at him and then ran <laughs> to his car and drove away. And so because the door guy was so mad at the DoorDash driver and realized that the order was for a building that wasn't the one that he worked at, he went, Fuck this guy, and then ate my food. <laughs> so when I went out there and saw him, the reason I knocked on the door, because I saw the food was missing, and I went, well, that's a fucking a wash, I guess. I'll never get it. And then I looked in the building and saw a man eating <laughs> oh, oh, nice. oh, nice. the exact oh. thing that I ordered. Was it good? And I, well, I don't know. Why well, didn't you ask? He looked like he was enjoying oh. it. And then I went, well, that was my food. And he goes, I know. <laughs> and I go, well, what am I supposed to do? And he goes, what do you want to do? <laughs> and I was like, oh, I don't, I couldn't tell if he what was being options? aggressive or not. And I just went, all right, well, fucking God bless, man. Right, I right. Just, yeah. I, this is the point that where, was where right. you could do something if you want. Yeah. But I'm not going to ask you to right. give me money for my food. Give me just, money. Yeah. Or I'll punch you, know you in the mean? stomach and you throw it up right you know now. Know I'm, I'm just saying, like, what do you want to do, man? Like, I know, balls in your court, I guess. You ate my food. Jesus. I, I make an offer. I <laughs> made a complaint to DoorDash. I was like, hey, this, this is what happened. Mm -hmm. Uh, I paid thirty dollars to get bullied, basically, <laughs> yeah. and they went. So the food was delivered, and I go, no. no. <laughs> and they go, well, they dropped it off. I see the picture, and I go, right, but no, it not to me, <laughs> not to me. And they go, well, why didn't you go and pick it up? And I'm like trying to explain. They're not comprehending it. And so the DoorDash support sends me six dollars and fifty cents. Oh, dude, that's oh, like oh, oh, no, yeah. no, six dollars, six dollars yeah. and fifty. Wait, cents. what? Right, <laughs> that's fucked up. And so, uh, yeah, I've. No. I I was so angry and hurt and didn't know what to do in you, the situation. You, you, you ate DoorDash's food. Yeah. So yeah. BK, how you got you DoorDash's it? food and you ate it. You were so <laughs> mad at them. There you go. <laughs> so. I don't even see the logic. It makes no sense. <laughs> you just like, need to yeah, say I'm something angry. to me. <laughs> And the worst part was it was one of those things where it was, it's like I'm talking about like the cockroach thing at, 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 at uh, Panda Express where it happens to you and you go, was that fucking real? Did that really happen? I had to, I was, I was on a Discord call with members of Funhouse and I, I was like, oh, I'm going to go try to get my food. And then I came back and explained it to them and they went, no, that, no. That's not happening. That's not what really happened, <laughs> which is understandable. Yeah. I, I don't know. Are you big on the, I go, okay. And then walk away. That's usually my go fuck yourself. That's in, what in I, the best that's of my rude. ability. That's what I did do. Is I as I <laughs> said almost verbatim, I went, well, God bless. Yep. And walked away. <laughs> I'm not, I don't even care about God. And, <laughs> no, I yeah. would have called the Uber driver to come back. <laughs> right. I'm asking like and, and he was fine, they just back. won't answer. Yeah. 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 They just don't answer. I would have sent him a picture of me Italy. doing this. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> just send him and that's this time get the address right. Well, the East Coast energy, you have to have an O at first, just a noise. Oh, oh. like yeah, what the fuck was that? And then what do we do? What is step two? Um, I need to know. I don't. I a purpose. You need to move your purpose. With, purpose. Move with purpose. <laughs> so what, what, gotta, is, what do you want from this? Do you want the money? I feel like I got scammed. <laughs> Show me the money. I feel like they're all in on it. Is this actually a heist? Did they actually pre-plan it? Yeah, you got got. Um, they're friends. Twenty twenty four dollars at a time. Yeah. Like, minus the six fifty they gave back to you. Yeah. It's actually the driver's name's the same name of the bellhop. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god, we're in on it together. Oh my god, it's the same guy. Oh. Oh. Around and park the, the driver's name twins, was Michael. prestige. I don't actually. I don't know if I should do this. But the driver's name was Justin, and it was spelled. Not anywhere near you, the way that you would think that Justin could be spelled. Well, now I'm just curious. Yeah, <laughs> it was G U 
S T Y N. It was S. G. He made this up. He made it up. G. He made it up. Shut it down. Shut down the podcast. His story started. Armando's lying now. He's making things up. I'm sorry. Everything was believable until the name. Until that. You crossed the line, sir. Okay. Stop trying to script everything. Hey, thanks for watching Off Topic. We're over time. We blasted. We blast. We fucking. This was great. Thanks for. This was a nice, nice, like podcast back after. Break. Heck yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, it's a new good. year. I, yeah, I know, year. right? Happy and uh, Post Team is going to play <laughs> Mario Party. Got another one coming for you. Yes. Mario Party, before <laughs> off topic. G. It's 6.50 it's from It's really Justin. spelt with the G. It's awesome. G-U-S-T-Y-S. He photoshopped it. He <laughs> the guy <laughs> edits on up. the flight here, okay? Stop. Enough. All right? Stop fucking around. Just go vote yay for McCarthy, okay? Oh, I thought you were saying go vote for yay. It's a safe Hey, Post Team's playing Mario Party Superstars with Ash, Cameron, Jacob, and Larry. So stay tuned for that. And I'm and I'm going to be in that stream too, baby. Let's go. I, I'm sure you Are will you? be. No, God, no. <laughs> You're not. I'm going to Waffle House. <gasps> Are we really? Oh, yeah, take a picture. Take a picture. Mono's going to get Chris, married. Post show first, then Waffle House. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll see you next week. I'm really Meet hungry. us at the Waffle House. <laughs> Yeah, and bring your own chairs. Actually, no, it, it's identifiable. <laughs> oh, no. We'll go to a different one. <laughs> Bye, y'all.